Go ahead. As I step off at the surface at Torres Litro, we'd like to dedicate the first step of Apollo 17 to all those who made it possible. Let's see if I can't crash the uh, corner and get that contact. See if I can't get a pottery. It's obviously very, uh, very cohesive because it's, it's, uh, the bottom of the core is not smooth. It's very jaggedy and fragmental-like. It's a rock composed of many fragments of many sizes and many shapes. When we return this rock or some of the others like it to Houston, we'd like to share a piece of this rock with so many of the countries throughout the world. We hope that this will be a symbol of what our feelings are, what the feelings of the Apollo program are, and a symbol of mankind that we can live in peace and harmony in the future. And a final word from the last man on the moon. I'd like to just let what I believe history will record that America's challenge of today has forged man's destiny of tomorrow. When I opened the hatch, I mean, I had the whole universe in front of me. It was, it was spectacular. I opened the hatch at nighttime, somewhere over Hawaii, and I watched the sun come up. We we're about, I don't know, 150 miles above the surface. And I'd watch the sun come up over the southwestern part of the United States. And, and it, was, it was truly spectacular. And of course, one of the things we did in that very early phase was, uh, was uh, uh, deploy the flag, put the American flag in the surface. I've always said we didn't do it to, to say this piece of moon belongs to the United States. What we did it is to say thank you to all those people out there who made it possible for us to be there. That was our way of saying thank you because they're the ones who deserve to see that flag, and that flag is still, it's still flying. The flag will be there. I put my daughter's initials in the surface just before we left, and uh, my answer to that question is they'll be there forever, however long forever is.